Okay, so I was asked a question on the forums about uh, how cruisers should be handling destroyers, specifically heavy cruisers. Now, the important distinction here is that light cruisers and heavy cruisers will have different methods of dealing with destroyers because light cruisers get the advantage of a higher rate of fire and scary guns. Excuse me. Heavy cruisers have a lot of damage, but if they miss, they're basically unable to respond to anything to the destroyer for about 15 seconds except evade. And destroyers will usually take advantage of that by getting closer, dropping torpedoes, and smoking and running away. So you want to get those hits as soon as possible when you're fighting destroyers. And as accurately as possible. The thing about destroyers is that their best engagement range is usually about 7 kilometers or less. And coincidentally, that's where you benefit the most from having a high accuracy, uh, high power weapon as well. So basically, it, it sounds kind of weird, but when you fight broadside against destroyers with a, a cruiser, you present a huge target. Sh the ships are long, New Orleans especially, for example, really long. Um, what happens is you'll face broadside, and you're basically presenting the largest target to them while they're driving towards you, bow first, as a small target. And they'll maybe turn once, drop the torpedoes, and then uh, drop smoke and drive off. So you only have like one chance to shoot at them uh, conveniently straight on for a broadside when he drops his torpedoes and evades. Uh, and also you'll have to evade the torpedoes because you know he's dropped them when he, he turns broadside towards you and then drives off. So basically you you have a small Our window to fire there. Uh, so the alternative method is to not let him get that great target on you. Uh, instead, uh, you want to focus on heading towards where you think the destroyer is. And, well, not to, not you can drive straight at the destroyer, but you should be driving in such a way that when you're driving at the destroyer, when he fires his torpedoes, it'll be angled in such a way that it'll spread out around you. That decreases the chance of you being hit greatly. At most, if you're not that great at dodging torpedoes, you'll probably hit, hit by one torpedo head-on trying to dodge, you know, between a spread of four or three. So, basically, when you drive towards them, you can, you know, make little bow adjustments and then what they'll see on their end with their you know little targeting computer the little the wedge that shows them where to aim it goes back and forth around your ship so the smart move would be to aim right at you and then fire torpedoes but they see that you keep making these course cor corrections that are really small you don't have to do like full rudder left and full rudder right you can just do little taps on the a and d key and just look like you're trying to go somewhere and not actually go there and they won't know what to do for the aiming they'll try to adjust for it but chances are, unless they're really prepared for it, they're not going to be able to aim that torpedo on you. So in these cases, you want to just drive right through the torpedoes, and when they drop the torpedoes, they're going to angle towards you. And since you're driving towards them, you're also in decreasing the range and increasing your accuracy. At maybe like 4 kilometers, you can probably just shoot right at some place on the destroyer, and the shells will hit the back of the destroyer and do serious damage. And as a result, you basically, you know, you fire your gun once, within like three kilometers you've dodged all the torpedoes hopefully you're taking just at most one hit and still have two-thirds of your hp as opposed to being dead or afraid of the torpedoes and once the destroyers drop his torpedoes you realize hey he's really not that much of a threat anymore he's he's fleeing for his life because you're still alive your guns are reloading but he's still within range of you you can pretty much finish a destroyer off he's driving away from you at like uh up to five kilometers really easy hits and he's he's no longer a threat to you because he doesn't have any more torpedoes normally there's like a few exceptions, I think, like uh, the Nicholas and the, the Mahan both have other side torpedoes. But typically, they're already running away, and you're in the range where your HE or AP is going to cause serious damage to a ship. So I have a few examples here of basically me driving around with a New Orleans and engaging destroyers in such a way where I'm pointing the bow at them. And you'll... You'll notice I, I, I do take a hit from time to time, but sometimes it just looks absolutely insane that the destroyers don't know what to do because they're intimidated by the fact that you're getting closer to them. They're intimidated by your fire, and you can actually wiggle around enough sometimes to get your your uh, your rear cannon, for example, to fire in. By decreasing the size, you're basically allowing your front cannons to do the work, except when they're running. When they're running, you can get that rear cannon in and just get three extra hits in. Kill destroyers everywhere. It just becomes complete chaos for destroyers when they realize that their best trump card, where they just drive in as close to you as possible and try to kill you, has failed. And they will try to drive away, and you're in range, and the smoke no longer is protecting them, and you just kill them. So, basically, it's, it's all about changing how you think about approaching the situation. It's not, it's not anything really new in terms of 
you know, how, how you're handling it, you're still trying to kill the destroyer, and you're still trying to dodge torpedoes. It's the approach to how you do it that changes how easy it is for you to handle the destroyers. If you're going to be afraid of torpedoes, of course torpedoes are scary. You can instantly dive touching those. But you have to understand that at some point you're going to have to dodge torpedoes whether or not you're doing a broadside engagement or you're heading right towards them. If you're heading right towards them, I guarantee you it's going to be much easier to get those torpedo hits. Or, sorry, to dodge those torpedo hits and much easier to kill them because you've decreased the range. You've increased your potential to, you know, knock out their engine, destroy their torpedoes in general. If you knock out their torpedoes before they even drive up to you, like right when they're turning to hit you, then you're basically home free as well. There's just so many advantages to, to closing in the distance on the destroyers as opposed to being afraid of them. You have to recognize that they're also intimidated of you. They're afraid of, you know, they mess up, they'll die. If you're not afraid of going in there and throwing down with destroyers in really close range, you're going to come out on top in most cases because simply you have a lot of firepower and if you're willing to trust your boat's maneuverability, you also have a lot of survivability. And that's all it comes down to. It's just you've got to change your mentality about how you approach destroyers. You shouldn't assume that they're indestructible or terrifying because they can one-shot you from far away. Because if they're, they're like a, if it's like a Fubuki who's firing from like 15 kilometers away, you really don't even need to care because they're so far away that you can probably won't even notice their torpedoes when they drive up to you and they have like a three kilometer spotting range if you're right up against them because they're mid to close range destroyer combat you have the advantage even though it looks terrifying that you're going to get one shot you need to understand that you have the advantage and not get to the mindset that you're in trouble i'm sorry that my dog just freaked out but uh yeah you basically just have to to practice the easiest way probably to practice would be to, you know, load up the training exercises, uh, training battle using uh, Aslan's mod. And with Aslan's mod, um, give yourself New Orleans, give the other side like six Fubukis or something. The goal isn't to, you know, just make it easy. You can start off with one if you want, but if you give yourself six, then it becomes terrifying because you have to account for all the extra information from six people potentially firing torpedoes at you. And it's over time with practice that, you know, you can handle uh, you know, one Fubuki pretty easily, but six is really difficult. I haven't been six yet. But basically, if you can handle, you know, like survive even two or three of them, you have basically shown yourself to be able to handle the average cruiser versus destroyer encounter. And from there, it's that's all. Basically, you have six because that pushes you to your limits, and you can approach that limit much quicker when you have more than just one target to worry about. You have to focus on everything around you, and... You can watch me fail miserably at fighting six Fubukis, but basically um, you need to practice laying those hits to kill them, and you basically need to practice dodging torpedoes. That's all there is to it. 